I mean, actually, this though, I guess, like when it comes, because a lot of things, a lot of times, we overlook the power of collaboration too. Mm-hmm. Can't uh, that Amazon play? Yep. Let's say, depending on if it's, because sometimes, like you can make six figures in yep. two weeks when when, you, when you're talking about the stock mm-hmm. market, right? Especially with with the um, mm-hmm. experience that you have. But if it's the right six figures, let's say high six figures, hypothetically, mm-hmm. right? If it's high six figures, can't they put you in a position? Where more people want to hear from you, and the second book do even better, even if you do so it independently. It's all in the power of negotiation. Mm-hmm. The negotiations they had with me surrounding that wasn't what I was willing to deal with. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I should have just gave you more context to just the content. Okay. Um, but, I'm a thinking man, so yeah, I'm thinking nah, like so the negotiations <clears throat> behind it. We had some different negotiations behind because I'm always about leverage, mm-hmm. right? So, f- for instance, um. Uh, I went on tour with Eric Thomas, mm-hmm. right? And he wanted to pay me. And I said, I would never let you pay me because I know what this does to my brand. I should be paying you. You know what I'm saying? So I went on a five or six thing tour with ET. One day I filed, I closed for him. One day I opened for him. And then three of the days, once he realized like, oh, trap talking, we was going bar for bar. Like, he'll go, I'll go, he'll go, I'll go, he'll go, I'll go. I know what that did for my brand. Mm-hmm. You can't pay me for that, E. So it's it's understanding how is the deal positioned and then how can we negotiate? Now, if you stay, they were steadfast on what they wanted. Yeah. So it was like, I'll yeah. revisit it. Bro, talking to people that's successful like yourself, it be confirmation because it's like, yeah. it ain't nothing that I ain't think of, right? Yeah. Like, even with the E thing, I be telling my friends, like, or not friends, I... Like I will offer my services to people mm-hmm. that I that I know can like benefit me yeah. for the free. Like I just, that's where I add. That's why I built my relationship. Right, yeah. I always add value to somebody for sure. And everybody be like, man, you tripping? Like nah. you doing it for free? Yeah, it ain't really for free, right? Because it's like, bro, I know, I know what how I can benefit off yeah. of it, right? Yeah, and it's not even just the benefit. It's just, yeah. it's just that's how you, in my perspective, that's how you gain real relationships now. Like it's about because every everybody you go in the room is. What can you do for me? Yeah. Nah, let me show you what I can do for you. Yeah. And I don't need no nothing from yeah. you. And then people, you trustworthy, you build yeah. rapport, things like that. So like, man, that definitely be confirmation. Well, you, you also <clears> got to <throat> realize that um, a lot of people are monetarily motivated. Mm. Right? So when people are monetarily motivated, you getting people, and social media has cultivated that, mm. where... If it's if it's not monetarily motivated, then they ain't doing it. Mm-hmm. So you have you like fans. You got females that be like, "Yo, I ain't mess with no dude that don't got no money." Mm-hmm. Right? I ain't mad at you for that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping on that. But what happens when you meet a man that may not have the money yet, but he got the vision, the dedication, the determination, the consistency, and the commitment? Mm-hmm. It's gonna come. Right? So when you deal with relationships, and I'm just talking about, I never go in a relationship talking about like, and I'm not talking about. I'm just talking about when I'm meeting people about. Mm-hmm what I could do for you. I don't go into that. I go in there and I measure what we doing and then how can I bring value because what I could do in the moment may not be what you need. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So I go in, I go in like, I, prime example, one of my closest business people that I really be on right now is my guy Chad from 85 South. Mm. Quietly, he's a genius, bro. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. And he don't get props, but he don't want them. You feel me? But when you look at the 85 South brand, bro, he is the, and I'm not taking that because I, I like Fly's my guy, Chico being my guy, Carlos my guy. That, I rock with them. No, nah, but you talking to But Chad is such a genius. Mm-hmm. And so literally last night, Chad called me. He was like, Trap, what up? I'm like, what's up? He like, man, pull up on the studio. Mm. I'm like, all right, bet. Because we talk about a lot. I go to the studio. I was in the hour. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much. I was in, I remember the last yeah, spot that they had, right? And so before I got my spot, I remember I was trying to set my studio stuff up in like a corner of their stuff. And Chad was like, Trap, that ain't going to fit. Go get your studio. And I was like, damn, I don't really want to do that. He was like, I'm telling you. So I go to the new spot they got, and I, immediately when I saw it, bro, my eyes lit up like I saw the baddest woman I ever wanted in my it's life, so dog. Fine, right? So when I saw the studio, I was like, damn. It's fine. So I'm looking at it, and he's just walking me through it. He like, all right, we got this stage. We got this stage. We got this. He was like, this the admin part. Boom, boom, boom. 
So he walked me through the whole thing and I'm like, and immediately he started telling me, this is what I could have did better right here. I should have did this. This came later. But you know what, Trap? I've already outgrown this. I said, how you outgrown? You just got here. He said, because I'm building where I'm going, not where I'm at. Come on, man. And I was like, damn. I went there 11 o'clock. We ain't leave at 245. Me, him, Fly, and Ryan, we just was talking. Now watch this. The value I give to them just now, while we was talking, it wasn't even about stocks. I was like, Chad. So he, I'm like, yo, you got to get SOPs, Chad. He was like, what the hell that is? Him and Fly, like, what the f what that is? Chad, what that stand for? I'm like, I'm, I, I say, that's standard operating procedures. I say, this is what you need. I say, the dudes on the camera, they need to know what they're doing post-production and pre-production. The dude on the sound, they need to know what they're doing post-production and pre-production. I said, the people that's doing the editing, they need to know what they're doing post-production, pre-production. And you need, to have the, you need to have a list of all that. He was like, why? I said, because if you got to fire one of them, instead of somebody having to teach them, you could just give them this thing. Here's what you got to do. I said, let me make it even more sense to you. So Fly, I said, now make that shit make a little more sense to me, Trap. I said, all right, check this out. You get on the airplane. Does the plane just take off? It was like, nah. I'm like, what the do them being that bitch, hitting stuff click, click 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 I said that's SOPs it's a procedure they gotta go through before that motherfucker take off I say but then the women that come up and tell you hey welcome to Delta this is this this is this put this on put that on that's a procedure the plane go in the air when the plane come down you don't just get off that motherfucker they gotta click 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 <laughs> check it on the base they got I say you know why that's a procedure that lets us know we had a great takeoff and a great landing if you follow that, and Chad was like, I got to do that. Mm -hmm. I said, now even further, Chad, this is all you got to do is you can record it, get the people who doing it, get them recorded, and then get the transcribed. It's already done for you. Put the shit in folders. You get that to the production team. You get that to the editing team. You get that to your admin. You get it to your secretary. Everybody need to have that shit. Immense value to my shit who was like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you you come in and you like, all right, even if not, bro, just hire somebody that come in that can do the systems for you that's going to take you off your plate. That way you ain't trying to think about everything motherfuckers supposed to be doing. Mm. So every relationship might not be predicated on the one thing you think you do. So you might be like, all right, trap talk, stock trap. Nah, I may have a business conversation that may take that help you. So I never go in a situation saying, I'm going to do this. I always go in a relationship saying, what part of me is needed in this relationship? 